back and said, this is my talk from zero knowledge to zero knowledge proof. Um, and I know that's very, very corny. This isn't a technical talk, so it's along the similar lines as Kendrick's you've just heard. Um, this time last year, I was actually working at a green energy corporate, um, full-time in London, uh, that was recently ranked, I think last month, number seven in Harvard Business Review's top 20 energy or business transformations of the last decade. I ran teams of hundreds of people to deliver new offshore wind farm projects, so just like that one there, so very different to what I'm doing now. Um, and as part of that role, um, I worked across multiple continents, negotiated um, internationally, oversaw complex due diligence, ran legal documentation, and ultimately oversaw the composition of multi-million dollar business cases. So why am I telling you this? It's obviously very different to my current role. So since then I've trained as a full stack dev and I currently work as front end engineer for a startup called Tracer, where Tracer is putting together an end to end solution built for and by the diamond industry. And as part of that, um, it is using blockchain as one of its four technical pillars. Um, alongside AI, machine learning, privacy, and security options. So, I'm guessing most of you are devs in here, so believe me when I say this has been a complete change in focus. And that was, for me, the main reason why I chose to move into my new career. On the off chance that any of you are not already software engineers, uh, this slide covers some resources that I found useful on my journey. And you can see 31st of October is actually the date that I left my previous role. Um, I won't go into any more detail here, but if you do have any questions, come grab me after. What I really want to say at this point is, don't feel put off by the complexity of what you feel you're getting into. Um, we've had some amazing talks here in Osaka about new tools and obviously there are new tools popping up all of the time. And I see a really important translating role here for those who are able to work alongside the experts and researchers to communicate the principles of the tools and how they can be used to upgrade existing code bases and ultimately um, be used on the road towards mass adoption of crypto. Um, there are three things that I learned in my past life that seem very relevant to my new life as a developer. So firstly, during my time on transactions, I had to plan. Everyone here will probably hate that word. Um, I defined clear checkpoints for my go-no-go -no -go decisions, as we called it, so before we decided to move forward with an opportunity. And I see that being very relevant to businesses or entities using blockchain, particularly Ethereum, where new solutions are moving at such a rapid pace within the community. And whilst that's very exciting, it can be very valuable to balance your technical debt with the business critical path to ultimately enable early user feedback and stay on track to deliver something that's going to be useful. Secondly, I learned to expose aspects of new projects that were unclear. You don't need any qualifications to ask questions and over communicate even, use analogies and build your network because goodwill can go a very long way. Thirdly, I learned how important it is to map the language of the business to the technical detail held by my specialist teams. So I really recommend deeply listening to how others express themselves and learn the language of whatever field you're in. I guess to conclude, what I really want to emphasize is, similar to Kendrick who just spoke, don't be afraid of bringing your new perspective to a new, a new project and open new lines of communication.
Thank you. That's everything from me. If you do have any questions about anything I've talked about, come grab me or follow me on Twitter.